Hi, welcome back to the next section, Credit Risk Detection and Prediction, Predictive Analytics. Here we'll be journeying through the world of predictive analytics, which sits at the core of machine learning and data science. Let's begin with the section's first video, Data Preprocessing. Here we'll be focusing on two things mainly, data type transformations and data normalization. Before starting this, I would recommend you go back and take a look at the reference material to learn about the predictive analysis and important concepts in predictive learning. As you know in the previous section, we had analysed the credit data set from the German bank and performed several transformations already. We'll be working on that transformed data set in this section. We had saved the transformed data set, which you can check out by opening the credit underscore data set underscore final dot CSV file. We'll be doing all our analysis in R as usual. To load the data in memory, run the code snippet. This loads the dataset into a data frame which can now be readily accessed using the credit.df variable. Next, we'll focus on data transformation and normalization. We'll be using some utility functions to achieve our goal. First, create a function to convert the data types into factors. Next, create a function to scale the function. The functions operate on the data frame to transform the data. For data type transformations, we mainly perform factoring of the categorical variables, where we transform the data type of the categorical features from numeric to factor. There are several numeric variables, which include credit.amount, age, credit.duration, .months, which all have various values, and if you remember, they are all skewed distributions. This has multiple adverse effects, such as induced collinearity, gradients being affected, and models taking longer times to converge. Hence, we'll be using z-score normalization, where each value represented by, let's say, IE, for a feature named E, can be calculated using the formula, where E represents the overall mean, and underscore E represents the standard deviation from the feature E. Let's perform it. We first normalize the variables, and then scale the features. Next, factorize the categorical variables. There are 18 categorical variables. This is the line to factorize them. Once the pre-processing is complete, we'll split our data into training and test data sets in the ratio 60-40, where 600 tuples will be in the training data set and 400 tuples will be in the testing data set. They'll be selected in a random fashion, as shown. <laughs> 